everybody, it's Haley. Welcome to Mom Life for Mom. I'm so happy you're here. Now if you're here, I hope that it's because you've been following along on my very short weight loss journey up until this point. I think there might be one or two videos posted on it. But I feel I am failing at my weight loss goals and my weight loss journey. I was doing good. I felt like I lost six pounds right off the bat. I felt like the Southwest modified diet I was doing was really working for my lifestyle. And then I just feel like I fell off the bandwagon. I tried to get my scale to work at one point and it didn't work, so that's not happening. And when I ended up going back to get weighed, I gained two pounds when I had been on a losing streak. So it was very hard for me. I mean, I have not been following any type of diet. I feel like I was trying to very, very hard and then realized that it, the cost of it was just not sustainable for my life. So at this point, I am just trying to add healthy foods into my traditional regular diet that me and my family eat knowing that it's going to be a slow lifestyle change and not a crazy fast one. And if you happen to be following along on the metformin journey, which kind of coincides with the weight loss journey, I have stopped that. Not on purpose, just I forgot it at home and I had been missing some days and my stomach wasn't feeling good. So when I get back from my trip right now, if you guys have not been following along, I'm in a hotel, I'm in Connecticut for a conference and I head home tomorrow and I have forgot that medicine. So when I get home, my goal is to do a metformin restart, which means I'm gonna go back to doing one for a couple of weeks, then I'm gonna go back up to two and I'm gonna talk to my doctor about possibly going up to three and I'm gonna try very, very hard to stick to that just because my stomach was all right, the food I was eating was making me feel all right, and then I stopped taking it and I forgot some and then my stomach started feeling terrible. So I'm assuming that that's the reason. All right guys, this is a very long intro. <laughs> I feel like I was like weirdly squatting <laughs> because you're a little lower and I'm gonna stand back there. I don't know, did I tell you what this video is about? If you have been following along on just the normal vlog on my current conference, I bought, brought an extra suitcase with me. This one. So I brought this suitcase with me as a very special surprise for all of you. This suitcase is full of clothes that don't fit. Full of clothes that I want to fit. They either don't fit or they don't fit the way that I want them. But either way, the stuff in here, we're gonna try it on today. Let's try it on again in six months. I feel like weight loss and the journey towards your better self has less to do about the number on the scale and more to do about how you feel and probably how you look in the clothes you love. So this is full of some of the clothes that I love and um, we're gonna dive right in try some of them on i'll show you why i don't like them why i want them to work better and we'll go from there so enjoy this video i will just show you the things that are in here give you a little idea of what they mean to me why i love them if you guys don't know i am a clothes hoarder so i have strong opinions and feelings toward my little babies here so just know that the first thing i'm holding up here is a sheer sheer it's sheer tank top very cute has a little lace accent here has a nice little like ruffle back here that gives you a little bit of stretch so this I don't know the last time I wore it when I wear something like this I want it to be a little loose on the bottom this one I don't think is loose at all so it probably doesn't fit me the way I want it to but we will try it on. I will tell you what I wanted to do, uh, why it doesn't fit anymore, and hopefully in six months, it'll look far better on me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. The next one, I think this one actually fits, but it is far tighter than I wanted to do. I mean, that's really what the issue is. When you start gaining weight, things get tight. So this, I just think, is just gonna show off the bits or accentuate the bits. I just don't want it to show off, so. Let's try it on. Woo, I'm very into the sheer right now. So this is another sheer black. It has just a little bit of a ruffle at the bottom. It has a very, very nice, like industrial 
style zipper on it. I used to love this. I used to pair it with like a black tank top or a colorful tank top with a super colorful skirt or a nice pair of pants. And you know what? I haven't done that in a while. It doesn't fit. This one, this was actually the shirt that made me think I needed to make this video. This shirt is a shirt that I love. It's a little like cropped sweater. When I wore it in college, it would kind of like hit exactly at my pant line, would look cute, would look sleek. I mean, I love the little glitter detail. If you guys don't know, I love a deep purple. My bridesmaids at my wedding were a deep purple. This actually has a little bit of sparkle in the whole thing. And this one, I could probably still wear, but uh, where it hits and how tight it is, that's the theme for today. It's too tight. Just is not my jam right now. So this is one that I want to fit beautifully. This one, if I can get this shirt to fit the way that I want, my weight loss journey will be a success. Super successful. So, well, let's try it on. This dress I wore on my honeymoon, which was a year after I got married, but still went on a cruise for my honeymoon. And I wore this beautiful dress. This dress, I just, I just feel like it's, flowy. It has some nice little ruffles up here. I love that the strap is just part of the ribbon. It's sheer. The last time I tried to put it on, I was so sad at how tight it was. And I didn't realize it wasn't going to fit. I don't think I've actually tried to put this dress on in about two years. So I don't even know if it's going to fit too tight. It might not fit at all that would be sad. We will see how it fits. It's now onto the fun part, the pants. So I would say right before I got pregnant with Kensley, I had worked super hard to lose weight in order to get pregnant. Yeah, I didn't keep that weight off and I haven't gotten rid of it. So right before I got pregnant, I had purchased pants, loads and loads and loads and loads of pants. Mind you, you may wonder, hey, if you're trying to get pregnant, why did you buy a bunch of pants? Well, I lost 50 pounds and it took me four years to get pregnant. So, lo and behold, sorry, I didn't believe I'd ever get pregnant again, so I bought new pants. Maybe that's all I have to do now. Maybe I should go buy pants and maybe I'll get pregnant. Should I try it? Do you, do you think that'll, that's the kicker? These mm -hmm. are just pixie, old navy pixie. I love the pixie style or at least I did it's now a little tight and this always has to be made out well not always they do have some that are made out of non stretchy fabric which I have ripped holes in in the legs just by like walking so these ones I always have to get the ones with a little bit of stretch or size up if I'm not doing stretchy fabric I don't I feel like the last time I put these on they did not fit oh these lovely look at how how beautiful these are. I love something with a little sparkle and these have a lot of sparkle. So I got these pants for Christmas one year. I think they're supposed to be either ankle length or calf length, maybe just a little bit shorter. I bought these when a store was going out of business. What, what store was it? Bonton was going out of business at the local mall? No, actually that's a lie. So there's no excuse for these. These I actually bought at JCPenney's. I might have bought them at a store that was going out of sale, but either way, I never tried them on. So when I got them home, they didn't fit and I didn't return them because I loved them so much. So technically these pants have actually never fit. So it would be beautiful, fabulous, wonderful if we could get to the point where these would fit and then the purchase will be well worth it. Five years later. Last two things in my trunk of treasure. These are another pair of khakis and it's funny because these ones are definitely on the larger side compared to some of the other ones. Used to be a 16, kind of drifting into an 18, really depends on the brand. These are a size 18, but for some reason I feel like they don't fit. So we are gonna try them on, figure out what's going on, and then hopefully we can get them to fit. The nice thing about these being an extra size is I might fit into these before the other ones and start feeling really good about myself. Last pair of pants, and actually the last thing in our trunk of treasures, is a pair of basic dark denim jeans. 
these are rock star jeans yeah these are our rock star jeans from old navy they're one of my very first high rise jean and i feel like they were tight when i bought them and i did buy them back in the days where i was buying pants before i got pregnant and they were a little tight then and the last time i tried to put them on was maybe two weeks ago there was no button in these suckers they sit a lot higher than the tr traditional jeans so this bit of my belly has not been conditioned to if you see where my belt is lying not my belt see where this hits my belly has gotten very good at having an indent right there where that was don't you guys like the belly it's a good view <laughs> so yeah i just feel like those sit a little bit higher which is usually a little bit maybe thicker bigger i don't know either way they don't fit right now and we are going to get them to fit <laughs> So this might actually be the fun part. I'm gonna mix and match these together, turn them on, and or turn. I am going to shut you guys off, mix and match a few of these together, and I'm gonna come on back and just kinda talk to you about my pile of clothes that don't fit. How do I look? I might bring you guys down just a little bit. How do I look? Looking good? Uh, no. <laughs> so these ones I can like literally like look. That's as close as they get. There's a good like three inches there of, of belly that is not going in. As for this top shirt, it, I mean, it's not bad. It does fit, but I want it to be flowy here. Just a, just a little bit of flow and it is not moving at all. So these pants, I, I like the length. I like the way that they look on my legs, but it just needs a little bit more fabric right here. <laughs> so outfit one the tank top I have on does fit but everything else does not so the hope is I mean these I feel like maybe the last pants that we get to fit on this journey <laughs> but the goal is to get them to fit we will do it we will do it it'll be fabulous we will see these jeans about in about six months, right? They'll fit better. It'll be a gorgeous. Outfit number two. I definitely believe based on the fact that both of these just kind of slid on and are fitting me to a point that these are probably going to be some of the first ones that hopefully will fit on this journey. So let's take a look. So this is the little crop sweater that I was talking about. I mean, it's not bad, but I usually wear tank tops, which put this out like this, and I just don't feel like I'm getting the look I want out of it. So I think if I lost a little bit of belly, that would make this kind of like fit flatter. It would be just nicer. As for these pants, these fat pants fit me actually better than I anticipated. So I was like, why actually don't they fit? And I think the kicker is this. So yeah, I have room here, but they're comfortable standing up. It's not something I could wear to work. It's not something that I could sit all day in. It's also a very like non, no, that's a lie. I was like, not stretchy. It's just a different thinner fabric that I would also worry that I would bust out of it. So this one does fit better than the last one, obviously but still doesn't fit the way that I want it to fit. But I think in six months, we can be rocking this one. I'll wear this one to work. Maybe even crop top it. Like, is that cute? Could you imagine like how cute that would be? Just kind of getting rid of this a little bit. Making sure I can sit down at a day's work. Ba -da 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 I am in the dress. I have to say, I must have lost a little bit of weight from the last time I tried to put this stuff on. I don't remember where it was, probably just after having a baby. But this fits actually pretty good. That's a lie, my boobies are like falling at the bottom of it. Let me lift those up. So I think it's just, it's tight around the breast area and the rest of it's all right. Actually, the last one I said was probably gonna be the first one. This one I could probably wear now with a good bra on. 
but it's not something that's going to be comfortable for a long period of time, I don't think. But with just a little bit of work, I know it will fit better and I will feel better about myself in it. I just don't feel like I look like the just married Haley I was. I mean, this is one thing I hate. It kind of might be the dress, but you can almost be like, look at my baby. I'm not pregnant, that's just the belly. So, not actually something that is that bad. Outfit number four. So this one is like a mixed bag. How do you feel about it? This is another one where, hello, this one. This one's better off than the last one. I mean, you can at least like kind of see it. But does that look good? Probably not. So this is a pair of pants that cannot button in the current shape of my body. But let's hope in six months that'll change. As for the shirt, the shirt is something that I would probably wear now if I had better pants on. But this put like, I feel like I put on pants that freaking fit right now. I feel like my belly just gets more like pushed in and sucked up and just doesn't have a good look, especially when I try and wear a tighter top on top. So, might look good right now, but if these pants were buttoned and my whole belly was smushed into something, it just wouldn't look as good. We are in the last and final outfit. I'm very happy to report that both of these slightly fit, but there are definitely things about them that I do not like right now and definitely things about them that I can't wait to look better in six months when I weigh a little bit less and I feel, I feel great about myself now, but just feel a little bit better about myself in these clothes. So this is the little black mesh. And as you can see, it's rolled itself right on up. So that is the one thing I do not like about this shirt. It is obviously just a little too tight, so it's just causing like a wrinkle. It's like weirdly, it's not giving me like a nice flat back. It's creasing into my back fat. So I, I really like it. I think it's super cute. I just want it to fit me a little bit better. Now as for these pants, these are the pants that are the size 18 compared to 16, which are most of the other ones. And these ones actually do button. I got them buttoned, but they're a little bit lower rise. So due to that fact and the fact that they are, like, I mean, look, my, my belly is just hanging over the top of them. So they are just too tight right now and just really, Getting rid of a couple pounds for my belly would make these fit so much better, would make me a little bit flatter here. It might even make this fit a little bit better. So like it's cute if I don't move. I hope you enjoyed the trunk of treasures that is right here. I actually put everything back in it as I was trying stuff on today. Tell me, what do you guys think of the clothes that don't fit haul that I did today? How do you feel about my, my, feelings on them, I guess. Did you feel that I looked the same? Did you notice some of the imperfections I noticed? Probably not because nobody ever really notices anybody else's imperfections. But I just want you guys to, to see where I am slightly beginning. I have been on this journey for a little bit of a while, but as I said earlier, I am failing at it most days. So let's say this is the beginning of a great journey and in six months, these clothes are going to fit so much better or at least the gap between the button and the hole will be less because my they'll just fit better. I feel better about myself. I feel great about myself right now, but I feel like looking great in clothes and feeling confident in clothes is something that I typically lack and that I just want people to look at me and say, that is a professional woman. She looks great. I want to be dress like her. I, I don't know really what I want. I just want to make myself feel a little bit better. So I want to make those clothes fit. I want to be wearing some of my favorite clothes from a couple of years ago. Clothes that I have not been able to wear since I got pregnant. Clothes that I miss. I'm a clothes hoarder. These are my babies. 
we must get them to fit. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a huge thumbs up. This journey is just beginning, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you guys don't miss a thing. As always, my name is Haley, and I'm so happy you're here, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.